hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel today's video i am very excited i'm just gonna be filming with a bunch of new stuff that i've purchased i kind of did this in my haul video but i wanted to do like a more in-depth i was starting and then i was like wait no let me film this <laughs> so that's what we're doing today I purchased stuff, a lot of stuff from Sephora, I purchased some beauty stuff from Macy's, and I also purchased some stuff from Ulta as well. So today we're just going to be trying all this stuff out, even though some of this I already tried for video purposes. But I'm going to start with the Urban Decay Brow Blade. I started by lining my brow with the pencil side. So I'm just going to do that on this side. This video is probably going to be a little long. So get a snack, sit back, and enjoy. I just hit 1k subscribers. And the content that you saw previously was pre-filmed. So that was basically all filmed in like a s s one day or one weekend. This is me after hitting 1k. And currently I am dealing with an issue with Google AdSense. So... Fun. They think that my brother and me are connected in some way, so I have to literally contact them and fix this issue. And they're, they're gonna email me back within 24 hours, they say, but I'm not sure. So we'll see how that goes for me. Hopefully, they can get that fixed because I am not connected to my brother in any way. Like, yes, he's my brother, but we make completely different content here on YouTube. So hopefully, I can get that fixed for you know monetization i think monetization is gonna still take me a minute but i am at 1k and that's exciting well we are at 1k and i want to just thank you because like without you it obviously wouldn't be possible so also i have a mess next to me obviously you can't see the mess because i tried my hardest to make you not see the mess and my positioning in this video is a little different and it's because i got a new desk well vanity but it is a desk i got my alex drawers i got my desk we are doing great i am trying to figure out how i can do lighting a little differently because my light right now is sitting pretty low and i see it kind of just be up on me i don't really like that it's just weird to me but i don't like heavy lighting either like i'm not like into all the box lights so if you have any suggestions i mean maybe you do just let me know i will love to hear your suggestions so now i'm gonna take the pen side of the brow blade and try to draw individual hairs i'm going to take a little spoolie just to blend this out a little bit because it's looking just a little bit harsh for my liking and i'm just gonna take the pen side and kind of just add it wherever i see fit i kind of like this desk better than my last one first of all my last desk i had since childhood so it was quite rough it's quite dusty and dirty crumbly the drawers are like have weird stuff in them like i used to do a lot of crafting so that makes sense to me but i don't know i can't take that off and i would like to sell the desk so hopefully someone else can like fix it up and make it look nice maybe give it a fresh coat of paint or something i don't really know but i know there's people out there that would like to have a desk for an affordable price and it's a good quality desk like i've had it since childhood that should tell you all you need to know so i need to clean it up fix it up and hopefully someone will want it and buy it so everything's kind of everywhere right now i'm still working on organizing my makeup still working on organizing the desk drawers they are also alex drawers but they're the smaller ones so i'm trying to like work around the mess that i have which isn't really the best thing for me right now i'm a person that has severe severe anxiety but you know the mess doesn't really help that and i built it myself like i built all this stuff on my own which i know for for me makes me feel better about it for other people they'd be like girl but i, I built that i did it you know i feel good about it so I have a new P. Louise base, right? But when I tell you that this one is so separated in here and it's not really working the way it's supposed to, I'm really upset about it. I have to shake it up every time I'm going to use it, which isn't the best because usually you just 
put it on your eyes and it works i'm gonna go ahead and say that it's quite expired also i placed an order on the boxy charm like add-on shop hopefully i get the items i ordered i ordered the natasha denona zendo palette and i'm actually really excited to try that out because i usually don't try out natasha denona's stuff like i don't know how else to word it i just don't usually try her stuff out also i'm not gonna film my primer because you will see that video soon but i will tell you like what i'm using also foundation because i have to film another video with that as well i have a lot more space than i did in my old desk i will say that like i remember not really having a lot of space for all of my things but now i kind of have more space and that's really nice so for shadow today i have this disney fantasia palette and i'm going to use it today i also have this give beauty icy and sparkle in the shade glimmer i saw this on youtube i saw babs beauty wearing it and i was obsessed and then i swatched it at the sephora and i was even more obsessed so i had to go pick that up but as far as this fantasia palette from one size beauty this is what the palette looks like i know it's going to be a little difficult to see because of the lights but you get two shimmers two mattes two shimmery blushes two matte blushes and two toppery highlighter shades i don't know if i'm going to use the topper shades maybe as like an inner corner highlight but this palette is so freaking cute the mirror kind of pops up and then you have this beautiful little like artwork with mickey and the brooms or the mops with the mops they're mops with the mops i've seen fantasia okay i'm a disney fanatic so this is like right up my alley and then i also bought the urban decay moon dust shadow this is the one everybody talks about in space cowboy i eventually want to make a dupes video with this and the ColourPop super shock and a few other items that i found are good dupes so hopefully i can do that soon i don't think i'm going to use this today but i will use it in a future video if i can I have a lot of future videos planned out so i'm gonna start with this broomstick shade over here and i'm gonna pop that all over i bought this palette because of Teresa's dad here on youtube she says this is the perfect basic b eyeshadow palette and i just i wanted to try it out because when it first came out i was just like mm, not really my ting really but it's cute I will say I'm just using the Glamlight and Michaela Part 2 brush. This is the 01. And just going in and blending this shade out. Looks really nice, actually. Very pigmented. I like the tone of this shade. I want to leave like this part kind of bare, kind of keep my eyes open. I have not been getting a lot of sleep lately. Got to be honest there, I haven't gone and sleep very well. I've been working late every night trying to organize and make sure everything looks good and it's stressful but also i still have to cook dinner i have to line my desk drawers with like a protector nothing is getting ruined here i'm gonna go in and take this shade called dream it is a shimmer but it's not like a stark shimmer i'm just gonna pop that in the inner portion of the eye kind of like brighten it up a little and on the end here i'm taking d minor i love the name i used to be in choir a lot so i relate to the music side of this i'm just packing that on the end there very basic look but it's a basic palette so i feel like that's what it's intended for basic everyday looks i'm gonna go back into this brush and kind of just blend this shade with that broomstick shade so far it's blending very nicely and i like that i'm kind of leaving the lid bare even though that classical shade in there is so pretty it's like gold and i feel like classic gold classical is really what they were going for as well but alrighty. so from what i've seen this product is pretty messy because it's a container full of loose eyeshadow but it's fine because i have paper and i have a paper on top of my desk my brand new desk hopefully this isn't a fucking disaster i'm gonna put a little bit of it on the cap 
And apparently the best way to use it is to take a fluffy brush like this one. So you can get like a nice dispersed shimmer on there. And I'm just going to tap this in. Quite difficult to see. But I think it's very pretty. I didn't use my NYX glitter primer because I didn't want it to like catch on my lid too much. I feel like this, it's not really catching. But you can see the pigment. It is like a loose kind of pigment on the eyes. I feel like with the lights, it's definitely a little harder to catch its beauty. Let's turn the light away. Can you see better how it looks? What do we think? I kind of like the way this side looks better than the way this side is looking. But I can definitely try to fix it. I feel like there's a little bit of a learning curve, but I feel like once I get the hang of this, it's going to be really, really nice. I'm going to continue to try this out. I mean, it says apply to eyes with a fluffy brush for a soft, shimmery look. For more intense, press onto lids with a flat brush or a wet brush for a foil-like finish. So this is definitely a lighter, softer, shimmery look, but I do think that it's very pretty and I very much like it inner corner i have two options here i have the shade oh boy and i have this shade yensid i'm definitely going for oh boy more these are definitely toppers we have yensid on the top and oh boy on the bottom they're definitely very pretty but i'm going with oh boy for today it's a brighter white shimmery shade i feel like it'll look better with this look and I will be back in this to use the blush. I don't really have any really new mascaras to try. But I do have the e.l.f. Lash and Roll. Which I've been quite loving recently. So I'm just going to use this mascara. This is probably the best mascara e.l.f. has come out with. So I'm very happy with it. I just have the shade Black. And you can see the difference between eyes. This is just a really nice mascara. I really enjoy using it. It really does my lashes wonders. And I've been taking biotin again because after I got sick, I realized that I started to lose some lashes, man. Like, I'm not even, not even kidding. I'm not even messing around. I started to lose lashes like crazy. And I was beginning to worry. So I started to take some biotin. It hasn't been that long, but I feel like they look a little longer than usual. So that might be why. I can't tell without mascara though, like I need mascara. My lashes don't really curl naturally, they kind of like to be straight and like fall down, which I don't really appreciate. I mean, I don't hate my lashes, I think I actually have pretty good lashes. I can't just go out the house with nothing on my lashes unless I'm wearing no makeup and that's the look for the day. I also have these lashes, I guess I could use. But I feel like after this use, they are no longer good and I should get rid of them. <laughs> They're just a pair of Kiss Pompadours that I wore, that I have on hand. Because I don't have any other lash available. I need to be in full concentration mode. I'm so excited for like the future of my channel. I'm so happy to be at 1k. Like You guys really made that happen for me. That's incredible. I just... I don't know. I don't even know what to say. Like... I never thought I would be at that point. I never thought I would get there. And I know that sounds kind of sad, but it's the truth. Like, I never really thought that I would be at 1k. I want to do giveaway, but like, I don't have anything currently to give away. Only like a couple things, which I mean, would be nice. And I kind of can't afford to splurge on items for a giveaway. Just being kind of honest here. These lashes don't want to cooperate with me. Now it's time to get into my foundation and primer. So I'm going to do that and then I will be right back because I am filming a separate video with that stuff. And you will see that soon. Alright, I'm back. I'm using the LIS Brightening Concealer for concealer today. Usually I will do like a... Oh, that hurts. That is a painful, painful pimple. Usually I will do do my foundation but since i'm filming a separate video figured i'd do it in that video and you will see that video soon so it's not really a big deal but for primer i used this one on this side this one on this side and then i used the makeup by mario foundation 
to compare to see. I'm testing to see if they're the same, okay? This is a stubborn pimple, I will say that. It is not letting go. This isn't really a new product to me, but I've been obsessed with it and I just figured I would use this today. Immediately, I'm gonna set my face. I'm using the Kimchi Puff Puff Pass setting powder and I'm gonna use a sponge to sort of smooth my under eyes out and everywhere I put concealer just to make sure it looks good and smooth. Taking a brush, I'm just going to lightly set that down on my nose, literally in my T-zone. Also on my chin because of this freaking thing and my upper lip so it doesn't look sweaty. A little on the cheeks because I do have to put powder products today so I don't want to disturb my face. My god, it still looks dewy even after powder. So you know, this is a luminous foundation. And then after that, I'm just going to take my Essence Brighten Up Powder. This has been pretty nice, honestly. I've been using this for a while now. And I really like the tone of this. I like the brightness that it gives. I do feel like I have to use a powder puff a little bit for today. Because I feel like my under eyes are acting up a little. The powder feels very lightweight. It doesn't feel like... It is enhancing anything. I don't want it to. It looks very, very nice. I really like this. Very good. So for bronzer, I'm just going to use the LMR Cosmetics. This is the Complexion Trio. I really like these bronzers. So that's what I'm going to take from here. And I'm just going to mix some boat. And just start patting it into my cheeks. I just really like how natural this is. It's not like too stark of a contour it's very buildable and it just looks really nice on me this one is in the color fair light look at that bronzer no bronzer bronzer no bronzer makes a big difference bronzer is like one of those steps that i just i really like powder cream whatever it may be that i'm using that day i can't skip it like i like how it's warm without being too warm. I'm craving like so many different types of food. I don't know why, but I'm craving Chinese food. Like craving it. Like I want it so bad. I am craving a public sub. I also want that like um really badly. Most days I'm craving McDonald's for some reason. Like their fries, the McDonald's fries. And I don't really eat that stuff too much anymore. I have HelloFresh. And so what I do is I get the four person box and I cook it all and then I get it for lunch. And I eat that for lunch. So yeah, that's pretty much what I do. It's pretty healthy and on the weekends I will indulge in what I want to eat, usually junk food. I don't really consider myself to eat horribly or anything. It's blush time. So I'm going to take the blushes from in here. I don't know which one to take. Should I take this one or should I take this one? I feel like this one is a little bit too much. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one and I'm going to mix both of these, just coating the brush evenly tapping it off on the back of my hand so i'm taking the blush shade symphony and intermission and mixing these two blushes together tapping it off on the back of my hand just to make sure i don't have too much product going on and then i'm just gonna pat it into the cheeks that is beautiful i like how you have the option of both a luminous one and a matte one i think that really adds to this gives you more options and i'm feeling it it feels really good like a nice formula i'm just using an lmr complexion brush to apply this this is my favorite blush brush i'm obsessed very good very nice i really like this i can't wait to use it again so for highlighter, I recently purchased the Rare Beauty Highlighter in Exhilarate. You have to try this again. I already tried this in my haul video, but I need to try it again. Whew. Look at how... Oh, so good. I'm glad highlighter is coming back. I have a drawer of highlighter, so like... Oh my god, look at that. So Selena did that with this. Really, she killed this launch. It's such a nice formula. It's not like glittery, but it's reflective. This is a really nice highlighter. I really like this very much. So I feel like last thing we have is to put some eyeliner on, put my mascara, and lippies. 
I'm gonna switch it up today and instead of using white, I'm gonna use nude. This is the Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil in Silky Nude. We're gonna use nude today. I don't know, I never use nude really. I use white all the time though. I just prefer a white, but I have it, so let's use it. I like it. it looks nice. I mean, it's not as bright as the white for me, but I think it still looks pretty nice and bright, all things considered. I'm gonna go in with lower lash mascara just so we can actually see our lower lashes. So let's get into lips now. I did purchase the e.l.f. Ofe Satin Lipsticks, but I also purchased this from Revolution. Their Whipped Lip Cream and Lip Definer. I want to use their Lip Definer, but I think I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Lippy and Dirty Talk. It's a very pinky lip liner. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure about this. Usually I like my liners to be a little darker than the actual lippy. But I don't know. We're going to see. And if I don't like it, I'm just going to top it off with my Keep It Spicy. So this is the color. It's very high-end formula from e.l.f. I feel like they really did a good job with this. Not too bad. I actually like the combo. Definitely different for me because I usually wouldn't pair these two together because of, you know, I feel like I don't really have a lot of dimension going on. But I feel like I don't really need that for today's look. So we're going to leave it at that. And I have one final step to completing my makeup today and it's setting spray. You know when you're running out of the setting spray and it gets a little spitty? So I'm going to see if I can pour what I have into the new bottle but i will be using the elf micro fine setting mist because i love it i probably sprayed way too much but i love this mister so i had to and we have a very full new one right here <laughs> i love that product it's such a good one i want to try the dewy one so bad but i've been stuck on this one i just can't i think that is the completed makeup look i really like it i think everything looks so nice i really like how natural and over the top it looks at the same time you know like yeah like it's fresh face dewy we have a light pink lippy we have the shimmer on the eyes so speed reviews, I like this. I need to try it more, but I feel like I do like it. I just, I need to wear it differently to see how I like it. I have a review coming on this probably already up. So if it is already up, I will link it, but this is very good. I very much like this foundation. I think it's a good one. I really like the formula. It's very nice and glowy. It does not have glitter in it. It's mica pigments. And I think that really makes it stand out to a lot of other foundations. The Urban Decay Brow Blade is a new favorite of mine. It is a little pricey for a brow pencil and pen duo. Split the cost down in half though because you're basically getting two products in one. So I think it was $26. It would be $13 for each, each pencil or pen. So yeah, I really like this. I'm probably going to continue using it for a while now. The lip liner and the lipstick, also very nice. I like how the colors go together, but they aren't from the same line. I feel like the liner, it does smell a little weird. It smells very makeup-y, but I feel like the formula is very creamy. It glides on, and I really like this lipstick. It is a dupe for the Pillow Talk, and I think it looks very nice for the look that I have going on. The Fantasia One Size Beauty Palette. This is gorgeous. I like that the packaging is nice and heavy without being too much. It's not too chunky. It has like a very nice mirror in here and the mirror pops up to have like a, a fun little moment here. Like that is very fun. I like the toppers. I like the shadows. I like the blushes. I feel like this is a very good hidden gem. I know a lot of people are into neutrals. Do you absolutely need to have it? No, I have other blushes that I like and other neutrals that I like. But I mean, I got it on sale. I had a gift card at the time and it just really called my attention. This packaging is gorgeous. I love it. I love Disney, so I feel like it's perfect for me. And I feel like one size really killed this little palette going on you know i love this this is so good uh i feel like it does work to set my makeup too like it just it is a very nice product along with the mascara i did review this and you know i like this as well it gives the right amount of length doesn't give too much volume 
but I feel like sometimes I'm going for more length because I do wear false lashes usually. So I feel like blending with blending the lashes with the mascara is important and I feel like a lengthening mascara is good for that. The Rare Beauty highlighter is very intense but without being glittery. I don't know how she did it, but she did. I feel like it's more of like a baked formula than anything. That's how it's the vibe that it gives me. I don't know if it's a baked formula, but it seems like a baked formula to me. The pencil, I've used a few times, but I really like the color. I feel like it's giving brightness without being white, like stark, but I really enjoy using this. I probably will continue to gravitate towards this shade. I saw a comment that said that white is too bright but they like a light nude color so i tried it out today it does look very nice and yeah i think that's it on all the stuff i tried today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more trying new makeup with me thank you so much for hanging out with me and for clicking on this video and i will see you in my next video bye Are we crooked? I think we are crooked. Fix that in a moment. Better? I think it's better. Better? Better? I'm going to... Two blushes. I relate to the music. I... So I'm going to continue to... to my finger on product and I have to change my camera battery it's slidey it slides it, it glides on